Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Last time I talked to you about energy. Well now we are on to the second part of our spiritual journey and that is going to be just the basics of feeling energy. Now uh, there's a lot of people who feel energy all the time, they just don't know it. Um, I remember I was like, when I first started, I'm like, how do you even feel energy? I don't even understand. What does it even feel like? Uh, energy, when you uh, get to feeling it, it feels like an electrical kind of feeling. It doesn't hurt. It's just a tingly kind of sensation. Well, um, this is how I first started to try and feel energy. So um, you're going to want to be in, of course, comfortable clothing like I am. I'm wearing shorts and... Of course, I got my uh, one of my favorite green shirts, and um, you go. You're gonna uh, stand. Well, you can stand or sit. It really doesn't matter, as long as you're comfy. Uh, I'm gonna stand though for the video purpose. So, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna close my eyes, and uh, I'm kind of just gonna do this. I'm gonna get relaxed for about um, 10 to 15 seconds. Just stretch out my arms. To stretch them out get limbered up okay now you're going to look with your mind's eye and uh, in the center of your chest where your heart is you are going to see a glowing ball of energy spherical in shape it's glowing and it's spinning around slowly now, make it your favorite color. My favorite color is magenta, magenta pink. So I'm going to make it magenta pink. Spend a little bit of time just seeing with your mind's eye the detail of the energy. Is it pixelated? Uh, is it grainy? Is it smooth? Is there any kind of steam or smoke coming off it? discharge of whatever just spend some time envisioning this in the center of your heart and you may notice while you do this actually that um you will start to feel something in your heart you'll start to feel a little something almost like a vibration and uh don't be alarmed if you feel this way it's actually pretty natural so um, as you continue to spend a little bit more time just seeing this sphere of light in the center of your heart, you are going to now try and move it from one end of your chest to the other. So first, we're going to take this sphere and move it to the right side. Okay. Keep it there for five seconds. Now we're going to move it back to the center of our, our heart. Didn't you notice you felt something? That's good. All right, so um, we're gonna keep our concentration on this sphere of light. And now we're gonna make it move to our left side of our chest. Keep it there for about five seconds. Don't rush it. And then of course, make it go back to the center of your heart. Now, you will notice that you felt a tingly sensation moving uh, across your chest, which is actually a great start. If you can feel it, that is an excellent start. Um, as you continue learning how to feel energy and work with energy, you will start to feel it more and more so, as if it is an actual thing out in our reality, which, of course, it is, just on a different plane. Okay, so now that you've got that settled, take a little break because you do not want to overexert yourself with energy. Give yourself a break, walk around, drink some water, or maybe eat a snack or two, you know, just relax. Then you're gonna come back. Just a sh after a short little break, come back. Get back into the position again. Just stand or sit. Close your eyes, envision the 
ball of colorful light in the center of your chest again. And of course, just spend a little time making sure that it's it's real uh, as realistic as your mind can possibly make it. Okay. Okay, so now we are actually going to move it a little further this time. All right, so now that you focused on the energy, imagine it moving from the right side of your chest to your shoulder, your right shoulder. Now imagine it moving down your arm slowly to your hands. Uh, right now, I can feel an actual tingling sensation in my right hand now. Um, it's like an electrical kind of feeling. It feels actually kind of good. Almost like a, if you were to have like a back massager on your hand, it's kind of like a tingly sensation like that. All right, so keep it there for now 10 seconds. Now, imagine it going back up past your elbows, onto your right shoulder, back into your chest and right into the center of your heart. Now, um, give yourself a little time, just 10 or 15 seconds, just to, you know, because you don't, you don't want to shock your system with this. You don't want to exhaust yourself because when you first move energy, it might be a little exhausting at first, even to move it just a little ways because you're actually focusing, you're concentrating the energy. All right, so you may notice that um, uh, you might feel a little uh, weak, maybe a little fatigued after this. Well, this is because you're concentrating on this energy. You're actually moving it for the first time. It may feel a little bit tiring, so just give yourself a little time to uh, get yourself in order and um, get back to the position, you know, once you feel all right. And of course, do the same thing, but this time we are going to move the energy to the left side of our <clears throat> arms. So, uh, of course, imagine moving it from the left side of your chest to your shoulder, to your elbow, and eventually down to your hand. Hold it in your hand for 10 seconds and then slowly move it back up past your elbow to your shoulder to the left side of your chest and of course back to the center of your chest. Now this is perfect. This is an excellent exercise. Before you move on to anything else um, more strenuous you're going to want to practice with energy. I highly suggest before you move on to the next video of Spiritual Essence that you focus on just merely moving energy throughout your body. Um, I will teach you eventually how to do a meditative version um, of moving energy called Velo later on. Once you have fully mastered this, um, how I normally teach people and how I was taught was that I focused on one thing at a time. Um, so eventually after I was able to move it through my hands and arms, I started doing down my legs and back and of course uh, up to my head. Now be careful about moving it to your head for the first time. You might actually want to... Um, sit down a bit or make sure that it, it's not overwhelming because sometimes putting that energy into your head it's kind of like jittery and it kind of makes you feel either dizzy or fatigued so um just be careful with this uh, i mean it's not going to like really hurt you it's just it might like make you a little dazed so just um take your time relax focus on uh what you can handle if it's a little too much for you stop take a break, relax, and come back to it. The same thing when studying for a test. If you feel yourself overwhelmed, the best thing to do is to stop, relax your mind, and then, of course, come back when you're less frustrated. Because the more frustrated you are when doing these, the less likely you are going to achieve the desired effect, the desired goal. So you're going to want to take your time with this. So just take your time, relax, Focus on moving it through the rest of your body. Now, only when 
you feel like you have mastered moving it throughout your body, come back and start the next video. Okay, so that is basically moving energy. I don't have to explain to you the rest because now you know the basics. All you have to do is envision that ball of light and move it with your mind's eye wherever you wish. Uh, believe it or not, this actually will start the basics of energy healing as well as um, energetic meditation and all sources of other types of uh, abilities and techniques. So these are basically the building blocks that I'm showing you now, the very starting basics, the foundation. So that being said, practice on this. Make sure that you've got it down near to perfect and um, be sure to practice at least uh, once a day, uh, even if it's only for 30 seconds. Just practice moving it somewhere throughout your body because the more you practice on this it's like building muscle you know the more you do it the more and more that uh the effects will show so um practice 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 makes perfect so uh practice on that and then uh of course move on to the next video all right guys that is it uh i hope you uh found the video very educational and uh, I'll see you next time.